a man was sent from God, whose name was John. He came to testify to the light, to prepare a people fit for the Lord. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who raised up St. John the Baptist to make ready a nation fit for Christ the Lord, give your people, we pray, the grace of spiritual joys and direct the hearts of all the faithful into the way of salvation and peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Islands, listen to me. Pay attention, remotest peoples. The Lord called me before I was born. From my mother's womb, he pronounced my name. He made my mouth a sharp sword and hid me in the shadow of his hand. He made me into a sharpened arrow and concealed me in his quiver. He said to me, You are my servant Israel, in whom I shall be glorified. While I was thinking, I have toiled in vain. I have exhausted myself for nothing. And all the while, my cause was with the Lord, my reward with my God. I was honoured in the eyes of the Lord. My God was my strength. And now the Lord has spoken. He who formed me in the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him, to gather Israel to him. It is not enough for you to be my servant, to restore the tribes of Jacob and bring back the survivors of Israel. I will make you the light of the nations, so that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I praise you for I am wonderfully made. I praise you for I am wonderfully made. O Lord, you search me and you know me. You know my resting and my rising. You discern my purpose from afar. You mark when I walk, I lie down. All my ways lie open to you. 
I praise you for I am wonderfully made. For it was you who created my being, knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you for the wonder of my being, for the wonders of all your creation. I praise you for I am wonderfully made. Already you knew my soul, my body held no secret from you. When I was being fashioned in secret, and moulded in the depths of the earth, I praise you for I am wonderfully made. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul said, God made David the king of our ancestors, of whom he approved in these words. I have elected David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, who will carry out my whole purpose. To keep his promise, God has raised up for Israel one of David's descendants, Jesus, as Saviour, whose coming was heralded by John when he proclaimed a baptism of repentance for the whole people of Israel. Before John ended his career, he said, I am not the one you imagine me to be. That one is coming after me, and I am not fit to undo his sandal. My brothers, sons of Abraham's race, and all you who fear God, this message of salvation is meant for you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. 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 You child will be called the prophet of the Most High. You will go before the Lord to prepare his ways. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The time came for Elizabeth to have her child, and she gave birth to a son. And when her neighbours and relations heard that the Lord had shown her so great a kindness, they shared her joy. Now on the eighth day, they came to circumcise the child. They were going to call him Zechariah after his father. But his mother spoke up. No, she said, he is to be called John. They said to her, but no one in your family has that name, and made signs to his father to find out what he wanted him called. His father asked for a writing tablet and wrote, His name is John. And they were all astonished. At that instant, his power of speech returned, and he spoke and praised God. All their neighbours were filled with awe, and the whole affair was talked about throughout the hill country of Judea. All those who heard of it treasured it in their hearts. What will this child turn out to be, they wondered. And indeed the hand of the Lord was with him. The child grew up and his spirit matured. And he lived out in the wilderness until the day he appeared openly to Israel. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all things, visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, 
born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For as men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified, under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father, he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who is the Father and the Son, is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism, for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Ah, ah, To God the Father Almighty, dear brothers and sisters, may every prayer of our heart be directed. For his will it is that all humanity should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. For the Holy Church of God, that the Lord may graciously watch over her and care for her. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For the peoples of all the world, that the Lord may graciously preserve harmony among them. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For all who are oppressed by any kind of need, that the Lord may graciously grant them relief. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer for our souls in our own community, that the Lord may graciously receive us as a sacrifice acceptable to himself. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. O God, our refuge and our strength, hear the prayers of your church. For you yourself are the source of all devotion, and grant, we pray, that what we ask in faith we may truly obtain through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful God bless and protect us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.